this pearl she gave me. I doth feel it and see it. And though tis wonder that enwraps me thus, tis not madness. Where is Antonio then? I could not find him at the elephant, yet there he was, and there I found this credit that he did range the town to seek me out. His counsel now might do me some golden service. For though my soul disputes well with my sense that this may be some error and no madness, yet doth this accident and flood of fortune so far exceed all instance and all discourse that I'm willing to distrust mine eyes to no other trust but that I am mad, or else the lady's mad. <laughs> but if it were so, she could not sway her house, command her followers, take and give back affairs at their dispatch with such a d discreet, smooth, and stable bearing as I perceive she does. There is something in it that is deceivable. But here the lady comes. Blame not this haste of mine. If you mean well, now go with me and with this holy man into the chantry by. There before him and underneath that consecrated roof, quite me the full assurance of your faith, that my most jealous and too doubtful soul might live in peace. He shall conceal it, whilst you are willing it shall come to know. What time we will our celebration keep according to my birth. What do you say? I will follow this good man, and go with you, and having sworn truth ever will be true. Then lead the way, good father, and heaven so shine that they may fairly note this act of mine. <laughs> 